So a few months ago, I made a video on the Analog Pocket, which if you aren't familiar with the product, it's essentially just a futuristic Game Boy not made by Nintendo. It takes the cartridges from a whole bunch of retro consoles from back in the day and basically gives you a more modern experience with a lot of new features. If you're interested in that video, I'll make sure to tag it above. But since I made that review, I decided I really wanted to get one of the accessories for this product, and that is the dock. Basically, what it's supposed to let you do is be able to use your handheld console on your TV or monitor, and it gives you a couple extra ports for other features as well. So I actually ordered it back in April, and because these products are so hot, everything is taking forever to be shipped. Finally, four months later, I got my order in the mail, and I'm gonna unbox it for you guys, give you my first impressions, and test it out a little bit. Alrighty, so let's open this bad boy up. We got some paper packaging. Uh, they seem to package it really well. Oh, this is a full thing wrapped around it. Very nice to protect the product. And as you can see on the front, it has the analog logo, it says Doc. And it's a very simple, it kind of gives me Apple vibes, how it's a simple box with not much branding other than the company's logo. And let me just toss this aside. And from what I've seen, this dock is actually pretty compact and shouldn't get in your way if you have this on a desk near your TV or whatever. Analog dock, power adapter, USB cable, and HDMI cable. So they actually give you every cable you need, which is really nice considering a lot of companies don't do that often anymore. And oh, okay, very nice. So as soon as you open it, it's right up in front. This is your AC adapter, which operates through USB-C, which is very convenient. Then you have the dock itself, which is very, very simple looking. I see some LED indicators in the front. If you flip in the back, you see two USB ports, which I guess you could use for wired controllers. You get a USB-C port for the power. You got HDMI. We have a button that we're gonna have to figure out what that's for. And then you just dock it right up in the front. I'm already getting fingerprints on it. What else is in this box? So we got AC adapter, we got dock itself. One of these I'm assuming is the HDMI. So this is, yep, this is our HDMI port. It's a little thin, but honestly, if it's gonna be sitting in one spot and you're not moving it around much, I can't imagine that this would get damaged that soon after using it. So then on the opposite side, we also have a, the power cord. Yep, there it is. Another USB-C cord, which is very convenient. We could always use extra USB-C cords. And the setup here should be very simple. You should be able to just plug this in right here and then plug the opposite end into your power source. This goes into the wall, and then you take your HDMI, plug that in on the back end, and this would go into your TV or monitor. But yeah, guys, so I'm gonna take a couple days and try to see how the experience is using my analog pocket with the analog dock and see if there's anything worth noting when using it. Okay, guys, so it's been a couple days. You could tell because I'm wearing a different shirt and I just wanted to share with you guys my experience with the dock, some information I learned while reading up on it. So the first thing I wanted to point out was the fact that the USB ports on the back of the dock seem to be only for wired controllers or charging your wireless controllers. There doesn't really seem to be any other function for that. The dock supports 2.4G Bluetooth, which is pretty standard, a pretty good signal overall for most controllers. And in addition to that, it also supports the use of two wired controllers and two wireless controllers at the same time. I'm not quite sure what game you're going to play where you need that many controllers, but you know, it's an option if you need it. Also, one thing to take note of if you're using a controller with this dock is that you can pair it two different ways. You could plug it in manually and it will sync up or that button we noticed earlier on in the video that actually is a sync button. So if you have your controller in pairing mode and then you bring it towards the dock and click that button, it should be able to pair that way. But if that doesn't work, again, you could just plug it in manually and it should be picked up on the analog itself, no problem. A feature that I enjoyed was actually the fact that you could connect your Bluetooth controller and then once it's connected, you can actually use it just to wake up the dock or the system, which is very useful if you don't feel like getting up every time you want to play your analog pocket on your TV or monitor. Right now on the 1.0 firmware, they support the 8 Pro 2 controller, the M30 controller, the arcade stick, PS4 controllers and Switch Pro controllers, but they're actually planning to add more compatible controllers within a future update. So the dock outputs 1080p, which is really great. They scale it up so it fits whatever display you plug it into. And when I plugged it into my LG C1 TV, which is an OLED, it, everything looked great. The colors looked awesome. I noticed little tiny details that I didn't really notice on a small screen, but it ran and it functioned 
awesome. I really can't complain there. Now, when it comes to using this with a monitor, you really shouldn't have any problems, but I actually tested mine using a capture card because I wanted to see how it would function when streaming or when capturing gameplay for videos. For the most part, everything functioned perfectly fine. The image looks great, but I did notice some screen tearing. I don't know if that's necessarily the dock's fault or the analog's fault. It could be a number of things. It could be the settings on the analog. It could be the settings on my monitor, or it could actually be the capture card hardware that I own. So I'm gonna test that some more and I'll put some notes in the description if people are really curious of how that works out. Other than that, I really didn't have any other issues when using it with my computer. It picked up pretty immediately. There were no other issues that I had to worry about. It was pretty much just plug and play. Overall, I think the dock for the analog pocket is a pretty cool product. It's gonna definitely be used quite often if I decide to stream or decide to make a video on an older game. It's definitely gonna come in handy for that. And I think just for the person who wants to lay back and play some older games, but without actually having to hold a screen up to your face, this will definitely be something that you might want to pick up, especially if you want to get the best experience out of your analog pocket. But let me know what you guys think in the comments. Make sure to leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video, it helps push it in the algorithm. And if you aren't already, make sure you are subscribed for future video game content. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.